and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. In the last episode, things were not good for our dwarves. We had a few tantruming dwarves due to, um, well, uh, some unfortunate deaths. We lost a few pets, we lost a few dwarves, and we lost a lot of other things to some goblin uh, intruders, sadly. And a weird deer, seriously. Okay, it's there. So what we need to do now is kill it. Okay, we're on the attack again. So kill this and you kill this, please, too. Oh my, I hate this. So we really never get a peaceful moment. What did this kill here? Okay, this uh, could be a... Oh no, it's a KV, okay. If you bite it, please kill it. Okay, we got him. We got the human. Oh, I'm afraid we got bitten. So, um, I hope we didn't. Well, I, I'll just see in a, in a month, in an in-game month, because then we will uh, know whether or not the. Um, we know whether or not the deer has successfully infected anyone with the uh, were deer disease. Okay, the horses are fighting. That's down here in the pasture. They don't like being pastured too much, and apparently, if they try to feed from the same patch on the ground, they will try to fight over it. Which is silly because there is way more cave moss and stuff right over there, but well, who knows. They might even kill each other that way, which is pretty annoying. We don't have lie. Why don't we have lie? Because we need to make more. What's going to be planted here? Pigtails. What's here? Cave wheat. What's here? Sweet pots. Now you should have something to brew with. Okay, I think it is time to turn the uh, horses into something edible. Yeah, I think I think we'll uh, we'll need to kill those two. And we we'll also need to check if there are any animals in the dining room. Right, we got migrants, so um, we got more pets, or more animals. This one needs to go up, this one needs to go here, and that's about it. Okay, now I need to know the names of those two dogs. Melville, Nishobion, and Tobul Yutokegast. What we need that for is uh, the Crafts Wars Workshop. I want to engrave a memorial slab for. for what? Can I make a memorial slab for those pets? Those are all goblins. That cobalt leaf that is uh, already mentioned on our floodgate. Entombed. Okay, now we can see what is entombed and what isn't. But 
apparently I can't assign those for the dogs. Okay, that's kind of silly. I can't assign those for those two dogs. Oh well. No idea, to be honest. Okay, let's train some more ravens. You can see training has a quality next to it, so you can get better at it, and I think the better your training is, the less likely the animal is going to revert to the wild state. Okay, they are still fighting over here, so no idea why I can't make that stop. I guess I'll just not care anymore. I also want to have some uh, clothes. Bags. Give me 30 of those. And my plan to. Did we just. Uh, why are you here? Are they all in cages or. Okay, wait. Uh, I think I'll need to check something. Human cage, zinc cage... Okay, we don't seem to have any people in the cage. At least I hope not. Although, wait, no, they are in a cage. They really are in cages. Oh my god. Goblin, no, we need those cages here. Because, uh, well, we need, we know what's in those. Can we see that? I think our dwarves fell on those cage traps and got themselves captured. So we need to free them. I hope I'm picking the right cages now. I could just look it up. Okay, so which are the cages that are currently <laughs> occupied by dwarves for whatever reason? Okay, it seems we've been picking the right ones. The militia commander is here. Okay, he slept in a very good bedroom, he witnessed death, he had a decent drink, he became a parent, he had a fine drink. Okay, I have no idea what is up with this guy. Are they just hanging out here or are they really in cages? We're gonna see. We're going to see. Once the cages are built, I also want another level down here. gonna place that down here with with a uh, diorite mechanism and I hope we don't need that but it's very likely no. we do no we don't need it here no. okay what's that cage this is a there is no cage here Okay, apparently my dwarves are not trapped in cages, they just... That, oh, I think they're just trying to kill this human. Because it's the, the where deer, so we're gonna build that. We're gonna deconstruct all those. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I, I suppose they're just trying to follow and kill this, this human uh, or wear deer whenever he transforms. So we're gonna place that, and yep, they are following. So now he is a human. And by that virtue, we can release him. Because they are still under orders to kill him. So we are gonna link this to a cage. Which would be this one. We're gonna use those as subpar mechanisms. And then we are going to pull it. So we're gonna add pull the damn thing. What will this do? It will. Well, first they will attach. So we'll wait. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this slightly different. I'm gonna remove this task again. Cancel that. Okay, and I'm gonna cancel your orders, so you get to. Um, it won't work. So you get some rest, because they are. They would have starved themselves to death, and I don't want that to happen. We just had a few tantrums, and I don't need others. Also, is that blood, or is that just the? Uh, yep, it's horse blood. Could you, you know? Okay, we. Uh, this is kind of weird. Also, just look at them raiding the uh, booze stockpiles. Anyway, um, you can see it down here in the corner. The, our, our moods are way better now. So the dwarves are much happier about their lives now. And we got a thief again. Although it looks like he gets himself killed fairly soon. Okay. And I'm tired of this, so I'm gonna kill the yak. And I'm also going to kill the horses. Including those. We don't need horses anyway. I don't like horses. And another snatcher. Oh, great. Well, this didn't go well for him. As you can see, he was uh, cut down quite fast and had his head punched in. So I hope things are calming down for us now. As we can see here, the were deer has transformed again. And we're going to wait with uh, pulling that lever again until he has untransformed. I would also say we didn't get... Uh, it didn't bite us, because we... Okay, now it's a human again. So now we are going to pull the lever and kill it. That's pulling it, okay. And now we are killing him. So the human is fighting, and the human is going down. Yep, yeah, good. So this one will not return. Huh. And I'm kind of worried about this stockpile here, because we have a few corpses on it, and having corpses inside your fortress is a bad idea. Because those are technically in range of um, 
So why did you store bones here? Didn't I say no bones here? Yes, I did. Apparently the stockpile is just uh, being messed up. Anyway, we got a ton of things to kill and we got a ton of things to cook again. So let's just finish building one more workshop. I think I no, I have all the workshops I need. So where's a quill here? We're gonna mill plants. Oh no way! And we need to do something else now. We need to dig deeper. And still deeper and deeper and deeper. And it seems we don't have iron on this map, which is something that annoys me pretty much. I hate not having iron on the map. But the fortress is safe for another day. And if I remember correctly, um, killing those thieves will lead to or will scare off goblins. So if you have thieves, thieves and snatchers, and they um, and they have success and they successfully um, abduct your citizens and steal your stuff. You are more likely to get another siege or to get more ambushes because the goblins kind of feel uh, you can't defend yourself pretty uh, decently and they will attack you for that. However, I hope we uh, taught them a lesson now and we're going to end the episode after this trade. So we are going to bring over some more food pots here. That should do. And off we go. Why is the alpaca still fighting? Didn't I kill all the yak? Oh well. Ugh, okay, an infection has killed one of our dwarves. That's bad. Especially because it was a child, I think. And losing children is never funny. It's never good. And it really hurts the mood of the dwarves, so... I do need this hospital to be in place pretty soon as well. And I hope we are digging our way to the uh, caves here. We should be close. The caves usually span a few levels, so we might bump into them. And what I want to do is build a well right over the caves. What's that again? It is Sphalerit. Okay. Not an iron bearing stone, sadly. We're also going to dig out this lignite here, once we have reached the cavern. What's this? It's a goblin in a cage. I can't do that there. <coughs> I could actually make a kind of archery range of fun practice out of that. Where do I have my barracks? They are above the uh, living quarters. That's Kind of stupid move. <coughs> However, I can actually make it. Uh... Oh, no, I, I have a plan about that. <sighs> um, what we can do is we'll place the goblin outside. We'll place him. I'll show you in a moment. We'll place that goblin cage at. Uh, the fortress entrance and then turn it into an archery range. What do I mean? I'll place it here. And if something attacks, it will attack the goblins too. So if something attacks, we um, will just pull the lever and release the goblin 
So whatever is attacking us will try to hit the goblin. Our troops will be retreated and will be holed up over here. Now we're gonna kill that drawbridge and just shoot happily away. Now I have struck a pineapple opal, okay. Um, traders, uh, our manager is still busy updating stockpile records, that's not ideal, but it will do for now. We keep striking Gans. Why can't you strike Hematite or uh, Magnetite? Because those are the really good materials for armors. Well, because they, they are iron bearing stones, and as I said, you can't really have enough of those. Let's make one more of bins and uh, also construct those chests we've been keeping sitting around here. So those bedrooms get finished. Is that did I just build a pipe? Oh, no, it's a pine chest. Okay. I don't want those bags to be placed here because bags have a lot of other uses than uh, keeping someone's possessions safe. So I'd rather have bags to be left for milling things or for dyes and all that. And place chests over here. Okay, so <laughs> those last few episodes were a bit... Uh, more combat heavy than I would have liked them. Although we did get out on top, to some extent. So I'm quite happy to see we actually, well you could say we won a few things in this battle, yeah? Let's just not be too pessimistic and we'll also start smelting down some ores. Is our trader ready to trade yet? No. On the bright side, those episodes aren't too long and won't take too long to upload, so even if I do half an hour, it's still okay. Okay, we don't have any idlers now. Our trader is drinking when he's supposed to be trading. I'm also going to buy a ton of uh, animals from those guys. Can't those foxes start breeding now? Trader's still drinking. A lot of people are drinking here. Do we still produce drinks? Yes, we do. For some reason, the brewery is easily out uh, putting out much more than we need. So if we have a dedicated brewer who is constantly um, resupplying us, we we won't really run into any troubles with the um, with that. Also, want to cut down this tree here, and I never needed more than one um, one still. Just kind of weird because even if I have like 200 people, one still and one kitchen can supply them all. Also, I don't think those eggs are actually fertilized. Because I'm not sure how long they've been uh, sitting there, but they just don't hatch, it seems to me. I'm gonna buy all that, we're not gonna buy that. We're going to buy glass. And, um. Did we just miss the cages? No. Okay, uh, water skins are something we don't need. I could buy all the iron stuff here, but I don't want to. I want another hen, I, want, I don't want a mule, mules don't breed. I want a reindeer, I want a turkey hen, I want a pea hen, I want goose, I want. Uh, but they have giant ravens. Wish the elves brought me some more pets this time. 
I must admit I kind of enjoy breeding those and trying to get a uh, viable population of those going. Sadly, it's um, it's kind of random what they bring, so you can't really request anything from the elves. So you can't say, okay, I have a male black beer, please bring me a, a female black beer next year, so I can breed them. I'm not sure if it's intentional, so they don't want to breed, uh, so they don't want you to breed them, and they keep the monopoly on them, or if it is really just random. Also, I keep messing that up. I want to assign the entire bin, and if I choose one thing out of the bin, the entire bin is unmarked for trading again. That, and that, we can afford that now, so I'm just going to buy a ton of stuff and hope for the best. That, and one more leather bin, and I guess one more clothes bin. You see, we are still easily in the good. We don't need bones, we don't need those bolts, we will eventually buy those, but not now. We don't need anvils anymore. We will need another, but I think we'll get a few more caravans until we hit the uh, magma. Or I might even just this uh, deconstruct one of my other uh, one of my other uh, forges and uh, use the anvil of those to make a magma forge. Why do we want the magma forge? Because it doesn't require fuel anymore. So those are pretty useful. I'm also going to uh, sell you some of those drinks because you shouldn't drink and drive. Good. Okay, you can stop trading. And I think we've been carrying the same food pots over the pla all over the place. And we're getting attacked by Langos again. Kill them. Do not let any of them get away. Teehee. So, yeah, Langos. Gotta hate them. Anyway, we got even more. Why didn't you butcher? There are butcher other nearby items. Come on, kill them. And a snatcher. Where's the snatcher now? Okay, so apparently someone was attacked by a langer. Or was that the goblin stuff? Okay, we were attacked by a goblin. And we captured a grey langer. So we we could actually start to breed them and butcher them all over the place for our personal entertainment, which I think I'm just going to do. So, um, yeah, we'll see. For now, we will butcher those langers away, and uh, I'll see where this fortress is going. For now, I will bow out and hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you enjoyed seeing me fail horribly to, uh, at those sieges, or what at this ambush. And I'll see you soon.